Can you hear me? Officer Jan, he's awake. Contact dispatch, we're gonna need a medical evac. Sir, can you see how many fingers I'm holding up? All right, I'm gonna need you to look straight as I flash this light in front of your eyes. Okay, is everything okay, sir? We found you here lying all by yourself in this park. Is everything okay? You don't remember too much? I see. Well, coincidentally, there is a serial killer on the loose, and if you have any recollection of what may have happened, we have reason to believe and have reasonable suspicion that you may be linked to the case. Yeah, could, could you describe what he looked like? Mm. Okay. Well, that's, that's definitely him. Um, if you're able to, could you answer a few questions for us? It'll be a great help. Okay. And no worries, medical evac is on its way. I see you've got some cuts and bruises, but it doesn't look like anything too major. What's wrong with your kneecap? You can't feel it. I see, okay. Well, look, you weren't immobilized to the point to where you could carry on. Okay, so, for starters, what is your name? It's nice to meet you, sir. I'm Officer Thompson. And could you tell me about approximately when you first met this man? You've never seen him before in your life. Okay. Interesting. You say he claims to have been stalking you for some time now. That is the consensus we are gathering with other survivors. Okay. Could you tell me, if you're okay with it, whatever you're comfortable with, anything he did to you? Okay. And he used a, a kitchen knife. Okay. Were you restrained with, okay, with rope and tape, the zip ties, okay. Now, I have to ask, how were you able to escape? I never would have guessed. Good one on you for that. So... We're trying to gather any sort of patterns that we can to narrow down this search and to prevent his next victim from being taken in. Do you think there was anything that really set you apart from anyone else? Was there a reason why he selected you over anyone else? All right, of course. It seems like there's no rhyme to reason with these killers, but We'll find a way, sir. You said he doesn't attend the same school that you do. Did he ever mention which one he does attend? Okay. Well, that's certainly in the area, but there's no way he's telling the truth. We've received multiple claims from other victims saying that He's also from the same area, and we can't find him in anywhere. We, we just can't find him in any book, and his story doesn't add up. Mm -hmm. I swear that we'll get to the bottom of this, don't you worry. Now, I do understand that this will be hard to remember, but if you have any recollection of the area 
in which you escaped from is at least, you know, temporary house of residence. Okay. I mean, it's completely understandable, sir. But we'll make sure that you'll get settled down and hopefully that haziness will go away and you can remember a little more clearly. Okay. And you're claiming that you fell down to exhaustion. You've been running for quite some time now. And when did you escape? Was this more than a day ago? Just last night. Okay. Well, it adds up. You were definitely involved with him. Um, did he say anything that could have signified where he will be next? Okay. Well, thank you for telling me everything you know. I know this is very sudden with everything that's going on. Don't worry, we'll have a police escort for you. Mm -hmm. You can stay down at the station as long as you need after you get evacuated from the, the hospital. Yes, we'll have surveillance with you at all times for the foreseeable future. We haven't had a case like this in quite some time. It's really important that nobody panics. If there's anything else that you happen to remember, please be sure to report it to the authorities. I'm not the head of the case, but if you feel it necessary, you can share anything with me as well. Mm -hmm. You would like to know a couple of the other reports so far? Yeah, absolutely. So... So far, we have three other confirmed cases um, with survivors, of course. If it is okay, we would like the four of you all to talk a little bit. Hopefully we can gather, hopefully we can gather some common ground. Again, to find the method to his madness. All right. As for the ones who didn't make it, there are 15 other victims. We have reason to believe that these cases go back to 2007. Exactly, which doesn't add up to the fact that he looks about your age. Mm -hmm. Either he's just one good looking dude or it's multiple people. Especially with how the hits are from different parts of the city, and obviously outside of which. This seems like an operation that's a little too big for any one person. It's definitely a possibility that there are more people in on the job. It would make sense as to why he's able to know so much about everyone. Okay. Well, when we do get more information on the other suspects, and if we are able to disclose more to the public, I will be sure to update you. Just make sure to lay low and try to take it easy. Your injuries aren't anything insane, they're just flesh wounds, so you will be fine, sir. Again, I do apologize, we couldn't get to you any sooner, but... It's honestly really lucky that you were still in the area. It's a miracle he didn't come back to pick you up. You're definitely one of the lucky ones. The other survivors have escaped with far worse injuries. Mm -hmm. He must have saw something in you. I don't know what, but I'll try not to empathize with his vision. Anyways, try your best to get some rest. 
Medical evac will be here in about three more minutes. All right. Try and keep in touch, okay? And special shoutouts to our patrons, Mark, Nagai, Wolfie, Menier Toast, Lilac, and Go Yohan. If you yourself would also like to be a supporter of the channel, please be sure to click the link down in the description below. As always, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And as always, sweet dreams. Love y'all. Good night. <laughs>